Yesterday we got a brand new Dragon Ball Super Superhero trailer and it was by far the best one. Not only did the animation look like it was finally completed and that's something that Devil Artemis could do better, but we got new scenes that we'd never seen before and more about the battle at the Red Ribbon Army base. But the one moment that really got people's interest is this moment right here where the reactor or incubator, it explodes in a blue metallic goo. Now this sent everyone who was theorizing about this movie into a frenzy because this was not how Cell was born and it puts in light the question is Cell actually going to be in this movie? Well today I'm actually going to show you guys a glimpse of what we could have had if they are going this direction. Something that is eerily similar to what we see in this trailer and it's brought to you guys by the power of fan animation. But before I begin let me know in the comment section below which character would you like to have most in this movie be the end-all be-all bad guy? Would you like a revived version of Cell or a revived version of Majin Buu? Let me know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, if you could drop this video a like, I would wholeheartedly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. But before we begin, Daddy's gotta pay the light bill. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you're like me, you find very little time in the day to really play any video games. Mobile games remedy the situation, but there's only one mobile game that really takes everything to the next level and brings you console quality gameplay to the palm of your hands. Raid Shadow Legends just celebrated their third anniversary as one of the top RPG games out there. The thing that really blows my mind is that even after establishing themselves as a leading mobile game, they didn't allow themselves to rest on their laurels and just kept adding new content and game modes every couple of months. Just check out some of the amazing things that happen in the game during the years. An amazing addition to the game is the Doom Tower. This game mode introduced a whole world of new and terrifying bosses to slay. Sprawling over 120 levels, the Doom Tower brought exciting new challenges for seasoned players. The Shadow King are a tribe of warriors from the Far East, recently liberated from the reign of evil, but that doesn't mean that they're good guys either. For me, they're one of the coolest looking factions in the game. Raid is currently running a special Delania chase event where you can get your hands on an amazing Delania, a brand new legendary champion from the High Elves faction just by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th and you'll get Delania for free. This is the best time to get started in Raid and if you click the link in the description below or scan my QR code here on the screen you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $40. We're talking 3 free champions at once. Misericord, Tigrasol, and Romero plus 10 10 magic XP brews, 10 force XP brews, 10 spirit brews. They gave only one champion in the past. Don't miss your last chance to get such big rewards. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. It's that easy. And I got more gifts for you. Make sure when you're in the game, enter promo code Medellinia to get your hands on everything. Get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Delania to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. It's been a while, Piccolo. Perhaps you will be able to assist me in my work. Oh, poor Gohan. You're even weaker than before, aren't you? Oh, you want to get back at me for what I did, don't you? You're welcome to try. This will be over soon. First of all, Metallic Cell's design is top tier amazing. Now it is unclear up to this point whether he's made out of robotics or it's just more of a silver design similar to what we've been wanting for Frieza for a while, which would be the opposite of Frieza's golden form. Personally for me, I would lean more toward the silver direction because a Metallic Cell honestly would just get ripped apart by the Z Fighters relatively easily, at least in my opinion. But tell me that this cell does not look like what would come out of this incubator chamber like especially with the blue stuff coming out of everything it looks exactly like that but the reason i asked you guys to let me know whether you would like revive cell or revive boo is because it could also be boo i mean it's goo it looks more similar to how boo was born that's kind of why i asked you guys that i'm not down yet i will protect my 
my friends and my family. Why do I get the feeling that in the movie, Piccolo is going to die? Probably trying to protect Pan since Pan's gonna be in the crossfire of all this action. But whether Pan dies or Cell did something else horrible before this animation, he's goading Gohan into trying to attack him. If you can't tap into your true power, all the motivation in the world will be enough to protect Fidel and Pan. Now believe in yourself. Whoa, 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 calm down, Piccolo. Piccolo literally just preached the opposite of what we've been learning in the Granola arc, where you don't really need that extra power. You just need to believe in yourself and try to win at all costs, similar to Bardock against Gas. Piccolo is talking the complete opposite stuff here. But the Piccolo voice actor is actually quite on point. It sounds exactly like Christopher Sabat. <laughs> I know what you guys expect me to say, that this transformation broke me, and it basically did. This was great. Not not sure why Gohan is purple, because that's, you know, Ultra Ego's thing, that's Vegeta's thing, but I like the transformation in and of itself, and the fact that Cell actually had some sort of reaction to it, like he felt fear in that moment when Gohan was transforming. Really awesome moment, really good animation, I love it. Obviously this is not the CGI animation that we're getting in DBS Broly, but this is more of a rendition of classic Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super animation. Hey Dad, are you checking this out? Really grown, Gohan. Now get out there and defeat him! Did Piccolo just go Broly goad Gohan just like Paragus and DBS Broly? Hey Dad, are you checking this out? <laughs> At last, I can finally test the power of my perfect form. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that review for this Dragon Ball fan animation, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Subscribe for more content.